Hi, this is Jesse Luther with SocialActionWeb.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take one of your Pinterest pin boards. This is my social justice pin board. How to take one of your pin boards from Pinterest and add that as a sidebar widget onto your WordPress blog. So this is kind of a, a little bit of a tricky process. There's some technical stuff that we got to do. And the reason for that is that if you go to the main Pinterest page, and we're navigating to that now, you will see that here are all my boards. As you can see, I'm kind of just getting started with Pinterest. Uh, there's a nice little button here to uh, allow us to connect to an RSS feed. I'm going to click on that button and show you real quick what that kind of looks like, the built-in function that there is uh, in Pinterest. Okay, so this is what a typical RSS feed kind of looks like. You can subscribe to it in Google Reader or whatever, right? Other people can subscribe to it, but you get images, titles, and some links. Now when you have it in this kind of a setup, this kind of RSS mode, you can do stuff with it. You can allow other sites and widgets and stuff like that that are, are RSS aware to kind of take this content and put it in different places. Right? So uh, unfortunately when we go in here and click into or back into the main Pinterest view, you click on one of your board items like this social justice board there's no feed right if you're following it you could follow it um, but there's no way to subscribe to it there's no way to take this information and put it into uh, another blog site or something so that's what we're gonna do with this tutorial don't want to do that uh, so let's go ahead and get started our main uh, kind of strategy here is well you know we have a bunch of images here they have co some content with them they have titles so there's some kind of order here we're gonna find that order the patterns that's on that are on this page we're basically gonna scrape it and we're gonna create our own RSS feed it sounds a little geeky but I'm gonna give you exact instructions and if you follow along on the on the additional information on the blog post uh, you can also download the file so you don't have to type it all in from this uh, from this video. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use a helper site to do this. It's called feed43.com and this is going to help us kind of take the content off of our Pinterest site, kind of scrape it off of there and then turn it into a feed just like the feed that we saw over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, like I said, we're going to go to the feed43.com site and we're going to create our own feed. So I clicked on the create your own feed link and it asks us for the source of the URL. Now I told you that the Pinterest site has an RSS feed and this is what the, what the address is, but that actually is going to show us all of our recent pins. Now on the social justice page uh, on my site I only want to show social justice related images not my other you know coffee things and um, all that different type of content or iPhone covers so this feed is just not gonna work it's too general so that's why we're creating our own feed so this is actually gonna be the page that we're going to use this is the page of our board so I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to go back to the feed43 page and put that in there. Paste that in there. I'm not going to put anything in for the encoding and then I'm going to click on the reload button. Okay, so the this tool, the feed43 page just went it went to the Pinterest page and it loaded the HTML from the site. So this is what it looks like. If we had, you know, a lot of time, we can go through, study the code, try to figure out exactly how the patterns are, so we can kind of map out 
what HTML snippets to cut out and all that. But we have only limited time, and I spent days trying to figure that out, and I did. So we're just going to go ahead and take that data and do some uh, plugging and chugging. So one thing that you see here, there's a global pattern search. We're actually going to leave that blank. And then in the item repeatable search pattern box, we're going to put in this value here. I'm going to cut and paste this from my notepad file that I have down there. And I'm going to do a control V paste. And what this is going to say is, look in all this HTML for something that starts off with class equals pin image, image link, and then we have this kind of wildcard uh, area, and then we have these two separate sections with the percentage marks in them. These are our variables that we're going to strip out. So we're going to say, go through the page, look through all the code, whenever you see these guys, Let's set them aside. Each one of those is going to be an um, a separate pin, uh, a separate pin from my board. Okay, this will make a little more sense once we kind of go through the process. So we're going to click on extract. Once again, it's going to go through the HTML code. Look for this pattern. It took me a while to figure out what that pattern was. And this thing wants to keep changing my color for some reason. And we scroll down, because now we got some data here, and yay, we got 10 items found. And that should match up with the number of pins that it's on on my social justice board. And here you can see all the items, and you can see that there's kind of like these two different variables. And there's the percentage one and the percentage two. Percentage one is the is the actual URL the link of the image and the number two variable is the title of that image that we pulled off of Pinterest. That's the description that we pulled off. Okay, and we're going to use those to kind of rebuild uh, to build this feed. Okay, so now we scroll down to step three. Remember you don't have to type all this in because um, I uh, have a text file that I'm going to have on the blog site as well. Automatically the tool was able to pull in the title, the URL that we put in earlier, and a description. If you wanted to put in more information here into your feed, uh, more than just whatever the title is of your board, you can do that. And that that's a, a good thing to do because people might, uh, you might want to expose this RSS feed to other people at some point. Maybe they want to subscribe just to that board. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for now, though. We're going to go down to the RSS item properties. Uh, and here's the text file that we're going to be using. And let me copy that. And then for the item title template, we're going to put in this um, kind of the squiggly, uh, the squiggly line, sorry, the bracket, percentage to end bracket, and that means that we want to show variable number two. Remember above how we said that the number two variable was the title? So that means that we're just matching up the title variable for it to be the title in our in our uh, RSS feed that's coming out. Okay, and then for the link template, we are actually going to leave that blank, and then we're now going to copy, um, add something in for the item content template. Okay, so here I put a, kind of the code that we're going to put in the item content template. And what this means is, this is how we want to structure uh, our feed as it comes out. Uh, we put the ahref ta tag in there, the anchor tag. That means it's going to be a link. It's going to go to Pinterest.com uh, slash your Pinterest username. We're actually going to put um, a real username there. And that's going to go to my uh, Pinterest account. And then where it says your pin board, obviously you're going to put the name of your pin board. The pin board that I'm, wor I'm concerned with at this time is my social justice one. 
and I remember that there's a dash in that when you actually create the page. We can go back and take a look at that. If you look up here, it's hard to see, but there's a dash in that. And let's go back to the feed 43 page. And then after we put a, a link in there, we're also going to put an image tag. Okay, if you're not familiar with HTML, don't worry about it. You just have to cut and paste, change the username, and change the name of the board. Okay, uh, for those who do know HTML, remember that we had this number one variable, which is the actual link to the image. So that's going to be our source tag. And then for the alt, uh, we had already kind of taken that out and said that that's the same as the title, the description. So we're going to put that in the description. So now our images are going to have a nice uh, description for them as well. We're going to leave this blank. We're not going to check that. And we are ready to rock and roll. So let's click on the preview button. And yay, we got something. So we scroll down. This is the feed title, the main feed link, the description. We could have put more there. And then we scroll down. We said we had 10 items. So these are the 10 items that are in my social justice pin board, a single board. And now you would get this custom your uh, custom RSS feed here. So I'm going to right mouse click, copy link location, and then I'm going to go to my little document over here because I always forget where to put this stuff. I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, so now we are set with our feed, and let's click through. I'm going to open this in a new tab. I like new tabs. So let's take a look what our feed looks like, and this is our, this is our new feed. Now it's a complete feed, and you notice it's only coming from one board. There's no way to do this from Pinterest right now, where you just click on it and see a feed we just created our own custom feed and now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to log into our website and we're going to just get logged in here Okay, so we're already logged in and we're going to go to add a new plugin. So I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress blog. And it's taking a little time to load up. And we're going to go under the plugin section, we're going to click on add new. Now there are a lot of ways to we're going to click on the super simple Pinterest widget. Now there are a lot of ways to load a plugin. You can use this method, you can use uh, FTP, um, but uh, this is the easiest one that I've seen search for plugins, clicked on that, and here it is. Now I already installed it on this blog so it shows installed. Otherwise it'll say install plugin. Okay, and we already did that. And uh, once you go through the process, uh, you'll get a verification. It'll ask you to activate it. I already did that as well. Now, so once you go through those steps, and if, you, if you're curious as to what those screens look like, look at the blog post and it'll show that. Uh, I just don't feel like uninstalling it and installing it again. Um, once you do that, uh, notice that the name is a Pinterest widget. So this is a plugin that doesn't just automatically start working. Once you activate it, you actually have to do something with the widget. So let's go take a look at the widgets. So I go under Appearance, Widgets, let's click there. And because we installed it, go away please, thanks. Because we installed it, because it's a widget, it now will show up on our board. Okay, this is actually a, a different, a different uh, Pinterest widget. And oops, there it goes. The Pinterest RSS widget. So 
so actually what will happen is this this uh, widget will be on this on your available widgets uh, section because we activated it so I just have to take it and let me just show you how that kind of works with these other ones up so, um, so you take the widget and you drag it and you dropped it so we've already done that um, so let's take a look at that at our super simple Pinterest widget and this is what it looks like okay now all, all you have to do to use it is you set the title I called it print Pinterest dash social justice and you get your feed so let's go back to our little document over here where we stored our feed I'm just gonna copy that for my text file minimize that come in here copy that uh, into there decide how many pins you want to show if you think 10 is too many you can decrease that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it if you don't put anything for the RSS feed uh, the fellow who created this Pinterest pins his stuff's gonna show up there so you you, know, you want to show your own your own feed once we're ready we're ready to save that and we can close and now let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like So open up the website in a new tab and let's take a look at this page is loading so I mentioned that there was a, a company blog post this is the blog post that has step-by-step -step instructions as well in print and this is what our, our uh, side widget looks like now we scroll down they're all part of the social action board so from a single board now if I had left it as just using the general uh, RSS feed that I showed you earlier well it would look like this I have other tutorials that I did an iPhone cover not exactly social action uh, social justice related so it's it, in this case it's better to show items from a specific board we just walked through we used feed 43 site to create our own custom RSS feed we then went back in and added a plugin and as I said there is an accompanying uh, blog post to give you more information on that and you can get that at socialactionweb.com once again this is Jesse Luna and I hope this tutorial is helpful leave some comments share it pin this to Pinterest and happy pinning.